Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss the important Assam Tribune articles of 18 July 2024. The first article is about a report addressing child marriage. The report is Towards Ending Child Marriage. There is a very good news with respect to Assam that legal intervention by the Assam government has significantly reduced child marriage by 81% and this has been reported by India Child Protection which is a child right organization. Now we all know that child marriage is a social evil and in order to curb this evil we need to dive deep into the Indian society. The Indian Child Protection is a leading child right organization and it is working really hard to combat child sexual abuse and different crimes related to children child trafficking and one of those crime is also child marriage. The two important recommendations which are highlighted in the report are number one creation of fast track code to clear backlog. That means immediate action need to be taken in this fast track court. The number two is punishment should be doubled. That means whatever punishment is given that should be treated equal as severe punishment. NCPCR which is a commission National Commission for Protection of Child Right and according to the chairperson of this NCPCR, this report has been published. This NCPCR is an important statutory body, that means a body which has been established by means of an act, CPCR Act, Commission for Protection of Child Right 2005, which is under the Ministry of Women and Child Development. So question can be from this section. The second important article is also a positive aspect in relation to cotton yarn industry in India. India is aiming to recover cotton yarn industry by financial year 25. Since we know that India is one of the leading producers of cotton yarn after China, but then there has been an estimated degrowth in the back years. And in order to meet this estimated degrowth, we'll have to uplift the domestic demand and also we'll have to uplift the yarn industry. The important cotton exporters are China, US, Australia, Singapore, we all know. And India is second largest producer of cotton after China. So in order to be the first largest, we need to really improve the domestic market. Since Bangladesh, Pakistan, these are the largest importers of cotton, we also have the aim to increase this number of importers. The number third article is in relation to land agreement for Tata Semiconductor Project. Tata Semiconductor Project, Tata has launched two important semiconductor project points, one in Gujarat and the other one is in Jagirod Assam. It has completed nearly 500 bigas for 63 years on lease and this commercial production of semiconductor chip will lead to development of the Assam technical market and also placing Assam in one of the top technical um, states. Importing countries are China, US, Japan. See, we are heavily relying on the abroad semiconductor sources. In order to be self-reliant, we really need to improve our semiconductor industry and this is really a very good initiative with respect. The next article is relation to a marketable product brand which is Jal Sparsh. A Tejpur Mahila Samiti and Eco Roots Foundation, they have hand in hand, they have produced marketable product from water hyacinth and this water hyacinth is a plant, Mimosa Indica. This plant can be processed in order to produce different articles like bags. Ecoroot Foundation is a foundation and this is this has launched pilot project. Pilot project that means initial project. First of all, these projects will be implemented. If they work really well, they will be turned into major project. project. These projects have been implemented in approximately seven villages of Noida with support of small industry development bank, SIDB. Now this project is also covering five states including Assam, Assam, Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh and Haryana. Therefore, Jal Sparsh is a livelihood project. It will generate work or job, job opportunity. So we can call it as wealth, waste to wealth, where rural women, they are trained for collecting, cleaning as well as processing water hyacinth in order to produce different products which can be sold in the market. That's it for today. Till then, bye-bye.